Hello sweet friends and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be high-end inspired dining room decor and also this video is part of the room by room challenge. I will talk about it after my first DIY so let's go ahead and get started. I saw this gorgeous tray which is actually a um, drawer looking tray. It has only the handle on one side and you can see the price $81 and on Etsy you can find for $43 but of course I knew I could recreate it for way less. So I started by taking all the scrap wood that I had in my garage. Uh, the size really doesn't matter it's up to you. This is what I had it was already cut out uh, the same length that was from the <laughs> our house uh, when it was uh, being built. I picked everything up and then decided to cut um, everything to the size that I needed, whatever it was not already pre-cut. And then um, I started um, sanding it and after that assembling it. Now this is going to be completely rustic so I didn't really sand it um, to perfection. I, I just wanted to sand the cut edges a little bit and just um, not to have any uh, splinters. So now these three pieces I am going to uh, glue with the wood glue. So I put the wood glue on the inside part and I left it to kind of like sit for maybe a minute or two and then I put it together. I left it to dry really good and after it was dried it is time to assemble the sides. Also I'm using wood glue and this project only took a longer time because I really wanted uh, this to you know dry as long as possible. I would probably use a nail gun as well just to secure it however um, my nail gun got recalled so I had to return it but um, definitely if you have one uh, that will be extra you know security to just put in few uh, places to keep everything nice and secured. However after leaving this overnight um, everything is really really secured and wood glue really caught on pretty well. Alrighty, now that I have this, I am going to go ahead and get this gray uh, chalk paint by Martha Stewart and I will give this one good coat. Now, the colors are really optional to you. You can use any colors that really matches your decor. This is what I went with. After everything was painted and completely dried, this is how it looks like. Now I am going to go ahead and get the wax and I will uh, apply it all over this tray. I don't know if you remember maybe a few videos back, back when I did a sign for Valentine's Day. I did the same technique. However, this time I'm doing opposite. So I'm putting the darker color on the bottom and a lighter on the top. I really like that technique and the results were amazing. So I decided to repeat it. So now on the top I will put this white Adirondack chalk paint by Falkart and again I decided to give it two good coats and um, I decided that because um, I'll show you right now I'm not going to use a tape like I did uh, last time if you remember I used the packing tape last time now this time I decided to go ahead and get just uh, anything that you had on hand I actually got a craft stick and I decided to scrape it and if you scrape it everywhere where you put the um, wax candle wax it will scrape off so i mean you can scrape everything off wherever you put it or you can choose where to scrape it off but definitely the part where uh, there is um, candle wax underneath the paint it will um, come off and look how beautiful it is it was so easy to do and i was just enjoying it really when i was happy with the results this is how it turned out i absolutely love it now I am going to go ahead and get uh, the handle. So this is one of the handles that I got a long time ago on a yard sale. Uh, there was like a bunch of them in a bag for $2 so from some old cabinets. So uh, now I'm going to go ahead and mark where I need to drill the holes. And then after that I will just use my drill to drill it to help me um, put the screws in and secure this handle. Now I will not show you all the projects right now. I'm going to show you at the end everything nicely finished and staged. Now as I said this video is part of the 
uh, Room by Room uh, challenge hosted by my dear friend uh, Devin over at Freckle Mom DIY. And her co-host for this month is Megan over at The Crafty Quinn. This is an op open playlist. Um, she uh, Devin does this every single month with a different co-host. I absolutely love this lady. She is my dear friend. I met her over here on YouTube. And not only that she's very sweet and talented, great friend, she's also a uh, chocolate tour uh, representative. So make sure to go ahead and check her out to see her ideas and maybe to see sh what she created with chocolate tour. Another person is Megan, another wonderful and talented lady. I'm going to have both of their links in the description box. Make sure to go ahead and check them out as well as the playlist for this collaborate or challenge so you can see what everybody else created inspired by some high end decor. Alrighty, the second one that I found uh, was this vase, or actually these vases were from McGee & Co. And I decided to recreate the smaller one because I had a perfect container to do so. Now this one will not look exactly the same, but I was just inspired by this. So I decided to take this protein container and um, after taking the label as much as possible, I wasn't really worried to take it all the way. I decided to cut this out right underneath the first ridge that you saw and then after i cut it out with just exacto knife or actually a box cutter i uh, sanded the edges now i'm mixing up a uh, white chalk paint with a uh, black acrylic paint and some baking soda and i got this beautiful gray uh, color now I'm taking this sponge uh, brush from the Dollar Tree, actually it is just part of it because the handle broke off, uh, but I'm still using it and I'm dabbing the paint on. So that's the only thing pretty much I do. I'm just dabbing it on all over. Then I left this to dry completely. And this is how it looks like before I left it to dry. Next, I already pre-made a darker gray paint and that's what I'm going to apply again, the same dabbing motion and just sporadically all over this container. Okay, this is how it looks like now. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go to the light gray and I will dab it again. And I applied like that back and forth until I was completely happy with just the look of it and a thickness of it. And then uh, I also did some inside because I knew I will not fill it completely with, um, you know, flowers. And um, this is how it turned out. So beautiful. Oh my gosh, this was so easy to make. Like I said, um, make sure also to put some uh, coating on top. I decided to use this flat uh, Valspar coating to protect it. All right, the next one is this beautiful, beautiful half concrete vase by... Uh, diva's design and i saw it and i i loved it immediately so i thought of this container or actually this bowl that i already had on hand uh, from the dollar tree so i'm peeling off the stickers they were so easy to peel off and using the same uh light uh gray paint that I used earlier the one that was mixed with uh, baking soda and i'm covering the whole bottom and then um on the sides, as you saw, I'm not going to cover completely. So you see, it's just making some kind of design. Now I created a little bit darker and thicker consistency. And then I am going to later, I'll show you, use this, these little pieces um, that we actually had left over from the garage floor when, when my husband and I were coating our garage floor. But if you don't have that, of course, you can just cut out small pieces of um, paper or something like that. Alrighty, now that I'm done with second coat, I created, um, I actually added a little bit of this yellow to the first gray shade that I uh, used. And that gave me this light, light, um, almost like a natural stone color um, concrete. And then I, uh, after I apply it, I put these um, pieces on it and that uh, stuck to it. So I did this to uh, completely uh, all over my bowl and then after that um, uh, I also sealed it with some protective spray.
For all of you that are new to my channel, hi, welcome, I'm Yelena. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kids that love crafting and doing DIY projects. I mostly craft for my home and everything is on a budget, very extreme budget. And I do farmhouse and rustic style, but I do try some other styles as well. And if something like that interests you, I would invite you to come join my channel. Hope you will like my videos. If you do like them, uh, please give them a thumbs up. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me and also helps my channel getting promoted on YouTube. And if you're new, subscribe. I would love to have you. It is completely free. Make sure you click on notification bell on so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'm on a social media, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. Come say hi, introduce yourself. I would love to get to know you. Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time are my upload date, uh, dates, uh, but sometimes they change if I participate like today in some challenges or collaborations, but I try to let you know in advance in my social media. Alrighty, guys. This is how everything turned out. I love every single piece that I created today. This bowl is so different than any that I created before. I really love it. I wish it was a little bit bigger, honestly, and a little bit deeper so that design or actually uneven design can be shown. But honestly, I absolutely love it. Now, I would like to hear from you. What do you think about this bowl? Now, this a vase again another stunning piece it was so easy to make very inexpensive as a matter of fact mine was completely free i had everything on hand but i love the texture of it i love the color if you don't like the dabbing effect you can definitely smear it and and use you know knife to create some design on it or anything like it but look how gorgeous this design is it really really looks like a real stone Again, tell me what you think about this one. And now the tray, this drawer tray. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's my favorite of all three projects. I am in love with it. This technique is definitely one of the best that I tried so far, and I will definitely use it in the future. I love how it turned out. And I mean, I love everything about it. I would like to hear from you. What do you think about it? Is there anything you would change out of these uh, for these um, three projects? Would you recreate it? Would you try to recreate it? Now I am going to leave you to enjoy a little bit more all my projects that I created today before I jump back in because I want to show you something special. Okay, I am back. Since today we were talking about dining room, or actually I showed you dining room um, decor that I created, I also wanted to share with you these gorgeous chairs that I was sent by a company um, named Yahitech. And I'm in love with these chairs. Not only that are so modern and gorgeous uh, with the details like those beautiful buttons and nail heads on the side, uh, just the whole design is very, very beautiful and modern and fits my style, our style in my home perfectly. Now, these chairs, not only do they look beautiful and modern, they're very comfortable. We've been using them for the last two weeks. Um, their seat cushion has a built-in springs and also rubber bands inside to ensure the, uh, you know, comfortable uh, seating area and just elasticity that's going to be so enjoyable they are so easy to put together the instructions are very straightforward and easy um, it comes in a package of two and they're less than two hundred dollars for two i mean that's just amazing this company also has uh, you know many other things to offer this is just something that i uh, wanted to try uh, they have a furniture they have pet supplies outdoor and garden beauty um, 
and um, they also have fitness and sports stuff so many other things and not only do they sell on their website they also sell on many other places like amazon and then walmart wafer chewy wish and sears so i'm going to encourage you to go ahead and check it out if you need any kind of furniture or anything uh, for your home but for these chairs i can definitely vouch them so far like i said for two years we uh, two weeks we've been using them and i absolutely love them I love the little raised area for your arms and then it has a great back support. The legs are made out of uh, rubber wood which ensures stability and durability and also I really just love the wholesome design of these and like I said we've been using them for a while and I can definitely tell you they stayed so far <laughs> the way they were the first day. So. Um, if you want to check them out, I'm going to have a link in the description box and I'm going to try to find a discount code for you guys, but they're already very inexpensive. So I want to thank you, Architect, for sending me these chairs so I can share it with you. Don't forget to go ahead and check out uh, my description box for the playlist. Um, also, to see what everybody created. And I want to thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.